Milk, we can't guarantee. Cheese is bad, don't disagree. Butter, ew, like high key. Forced to be dairy free. Today, we'll be making almond chicken. I like that, it's good. And the theme for this week is dinner for six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. We have a special guest, right? We have a grandma coming to visit. Sweet. Yeah, so dinner for six. This is a nice hearty meal. This, is, this meal will impress your friends if you can pull it off. And family too. And family too, right. So we're gonna go over the ingredients first. I have some white sugar, I have salt, ground pepper. I have just over a half a cup of sliced almonds. I have six green onions that I've already diced up. I also have a ginger root I already has sliced up. Uh, about a dozen slices of the ginger root after I took off the the uh, outer edge of the ginger root and then I diced it up into about eight inch pieces with a dozen of those. I ended up using one large green pepper. You might use a, a couple of small green peppers if you can't find a large one. And then I have two cans of bamboo shoots here all ready to go. Sounds good. All right, then I also washed and I diced up eight ounces of button mushrooms. And the first thing I did, and the first thing you will want to do, is I made my marinade and I diced up my chicken and put it into the marinade. So that'll be the first thing I do. And what I did for my marinade is I put in a half a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of pepper, and then I put in two teaspoons of cornstarch, and two tablespoons of soy sauce. Yeah, yeah. Right? So it's not a whole lot. It's, and it doesn't need to marinate a long time. This is just be the first thing you can do. You can cook this all consecutively. And this less it, because the cornstarch will let the marinade coat onto the chicken. Also, something I got started was my rice over here. So I said, pick your favorite Asian rice. What I did is I used this rice pilaf, which is a toasted almond that, that Near East makes. and I've done this with lots of different rices and that turns out being my favorite rice that I use. So I already have that started. It has about 18 minutes left before it's done. I also have in my wok uh, about two and a half cups of vegetable oil. Did I say that as one word? It sounded like I said it in one word. Vegetable oil? Vegetable oil? So vegetable oil. Yes, two words. Right? I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna get that up to a high heat. All right, our oil is hot. So I, the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get my, not the first thing, I've done several things. You have done I don't know, like the number of fifths thing. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna get my almonds, my sliced almonds, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna put them in the hot oil. Yeah. yeah. And I have a spoon specifically designed for this. And I already have, you want to hold on that, buddy? Yeah. So this is, so you gotta wash over this, you can't leave it. This is gonna be just about a 40 second ordeal. I just wanna get some of the, I wanna be able to use these toasted almonds at the end. And also I want the flavor of the sliced almonds into the oil when I fry my chicken in it. Yes. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna caution, use the air caution here. I'm gonna start breaking this out so it's just slightly brown. If it goes much over a minute, trust me, you're gonna have black almonds mm -hmm. and they won't be tasty and they won't be good. Mm -mm. You won't be able to use them, that, but that's okay. It happens, it happens to me probably, used to happen 100% of the time, now it happens more like 20% of the time mm -hmm. because I've gotten extra cautious. They still have a nice, a little light brownness to them, so they've toasted a little bit. I know I have that flavor in there. There's a couple left, but that's okay in the oil. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get my chicken that's been in the marinade. And that is at a very hot, high heat. I'm gonna go ahead and toss this in. Now I put enough vegetable oil into the wok to where when I put all this in, it's going to be cut, the chicken's going to be covered. Amazing. It 
see a snazzy. Snazzy, snazzy, All right, and I'm going to put this in the sink, and I'm going to need it because I'm going to need something to discard my oil. So you need to be ready to discard your oil. I'm going to move this around a little bit. Make sure the put that chicken pot down in there and get some oil. That on that really high heat, that marinade. I'm gonna borrow that, buddy. I'm gonna separate it just a tad. Spread it out. Give that a wash. Washy washy. Did you hold that. Keep wash my hand again. So that's going to cook on a very high heat. Uh, we'll watch it till it gets really dark brown. While I do that, I'm going to make my seasoning that's going to go into the stir fry when I'm done at the end. So this is a good time to do that. So, and I wanted to, you know, sometimes I don't let you watch everything I do, but I wanted you to watch this one so we had all the ingredients right. I'm going to do two tablespoons of cooking sherry here. If uh, you have regular drinking cherry handy, you can do that. I always go a little bit more, you can see it over topping my tablespoon, that's all right. Then we do two tablespoons of the rice vinegar, right? Yes, you are, you very much are, uh, uh, uh. you very much are. Two tablespoons of rice vinegar, then we do four tablespoons, man, I hope I have four tablespoons. Oh my. I know. Four tablespoons of soy sauce, two, three, four, boom. Chicken noodle soup. Chicken noodle soup, I had it. Yay. All right. Now I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna do two teaspoons of sugar. Yes, you are. You are Yes, I am. I'm going to do one teaspoon of salt. And then one teaspoon of cornstarch. That's all I need of a teaspoon. You like that? Yes. That was just a little bit of camera to me right there. You see that? Yes, I did. Good you job. appreciate that? I appreciate it. You know what thing I didn't see we were prepared for? It. So we need paper towels. And I'm going to have to put the chicken in paper towels. Yes, you are. Alright, the one thing I wasn't prepared for. So I have my seasoning sauce here. And give that a good stir. Mix in that cornstarch, take out all the pumps, check on my chicken. Chicken, see a couple of bits there floated at the top. Oof. No, yeah, that is a boof. So I'll tell you a little thing. So, for, usually when I make this, if you've watched the video to this point, which not all people do, I understand, because you yeah. take the ingredients and you just wing it, I guess. Yeah. But uh, this, usually I make this with pheasant, so I, I call this a pheasant only dish. And it is an excellent way to use a pheasant. I was just taking a hunch out there that not a lot of you have pheasant that you're able to cook for your dinner. Do you think that would be a fair assumption? Yeah, probably. Probably a fair assumption, yes. Yeah. So the chicken's cooking well here. We're going to take just a couple minutes here and then we'll get back to you. Yep. All right, the chicken is ready to take out the hot oil. It's actually just cooked it closer to eight minutes. I checked it to make sure I wanted to get some nice color, get some, you can see where it's a little bit more brown there on the edge. At the same time, I didn't want to overcook it. Then if, when I cut that chicken, I cut it in about one inch chunks which I consider to be, oh, rice is ready. Okay, you can shut that off and then shut off the, there you go. So the rice is ready and we are really that far from ready. 
even though it seems like you see all those ingredients still sitting out there you're probably thinking my goodness how will we ever get this done the chicken looks good and it tastes even better how, it, how do you know you haven't tasted it yet because it, it just i can smell it it's just, yes it smells yes it smells great it i promise you for those at home that this is just an absolutely delicious dish Mm -hmm. If you make it, you will impress everybody that you know. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to, remember I told you to keep that one bowl handy. I'm going to take this oil. Pour it in the bowl. And I'm going to dump all but two tablespoons out. So I have two tablespoons in there. Eyeballed it, of course. What's the fun in cooking if you can't do that? And I'm going to take my sliced ginger. And I'm going to put that. So this is washed every time. This is just had cooked chicken in it, but I'll still rinse it anyway. Good dancing camera. So I have my 12 strips of ginger. And I'm cooking that in my hot oil. Get a nice ginger, fresh ginger flavor into my almond chicken dish. I told you this is fancy. Very fancy. Very I call it fancy. Yeah. And over here, well, I've noticed my uh, almonds have gotten just that real nice tender brown. This was actually, I did a perfect almond. So, what I cooked that about 50 seconds maybe? Yeah, probably. Yeah, around there. Around 50 seconds, would you mm -hmm. say? Yeah. That's good. Huh? That's pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. So one thing I was thinking about, Cameron, that uh, I could I could ask for some help from the viewers, is I know sometimes we skip through a lot of the steps and we try to abbreviate mm -hmm. because I don't want people to have to sit and watch a video for a long time. But if we need comments of more step by step, if there's more cooks out there that aren't as familiar with some of the intricacies of cooking. Yeah. Then just let me know, provide comments, and let us know. Hey, we need a, you need a little bit more information when we're cooking these dishes. Yeah. I'd say we're not there yet. I, I don't think people necessarily are watching the videos all the way through. Like I said before, they're probably saving the videos for future cases. I'll say this one, this dish right here, this would be great for several occasions. We're just having it during the middle of the week because I love making it. And I love eating it, but it'd be great for Mother's Day, mm -hmm. right? A uh, great holiday type dish. Yeah. Right, kind of festive. It's like you're going to a restaurant. It is. Well, like my dad would say, you would have to spend a hundred dollars to eat this at a restaurant. <laughs> yeah, he would say that. So I'm going to take out my ginger. Oh, why just mess that up? I don't know. Uh, you're supposed to be quality control, Cameron. Well. I missed two. So I'm going to put those in there. I'll be quite honest with you. I just kind of like eating those little ginger pieces. I know that's kind of weird, but I think they taste pretty good. So I'm going to put my, you want to hold that? I'm going to put my stir fry ingredients. I'm going to add my bamboo juice. Stir fry my bamboo. I'm going to throw in my green onions. Again, that was six green onions. Toss that aside. I'm going to put in my one large green pepper or two smaller green peppers. I'm going to put in my eight ounces of diced button mushrooms. Yum, 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 yum. Lots of refreshing ingredients. All right, so I'm going to stir fry this on a very high heat for about four minutes. Okay. All right, we have stir fried the vegetables for about five minutes now. I can tell they're cooked through, especially by the mushrooms. The mushrooms have really shrunk, and some of the bamboo shoots have turned a little brown. So now I'm going to go ahead 
And I'm gonna, actually I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna get my sauce that I made, a seasoning sauce, I'm gonna pour that in to my stir fry. Again, I'm cooking this at, at as high a heat as I can. Mm -hmm. Like most stir fries. That's already going to a boil. I'm gonna throw in my chicken. And by the way, Cameron stole a bite of chicken. What was your opinion of the chicken, Cameron? Tastes amazing. Even when we didn't add the stir frying, round applause is all I got. It's not just me, it's not just me. It's you too. Alright. And then we're going to throw in our toasted almonds. Almost all the toasted almonds. Oof. 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 Mix that all around. <clears throat> this is one of those dishes. They didn't take that. Wait, how long did this take to make, Cameron? So, about an hour all together. Preparation. Once you get it down, and you kind of watch the steps, have everything prepared. Again, you just marinate that chicken at the beginning. It's not something you have to let sit in the fridge or anything like that. That coating gets on it, and when you fry it hot, then all the flavor stays in that chicken. Now stir fry is ready to go. We're going to go ahead and start plating Cameron. Yes! Uh. And again, this uh, toasted almond ri rice pilaf that this Near East makes. Can I say that again, Cameron? Remind me. Yeah, do I need to say anything like... Nope. Nope? Okay. Nope. I love that rice. I love it, I love it even when... Uh, just as a side. I just love that rice. So get my bed of rice there, and we get a nice helping of my vegetables and chicken. How hungry are you, Cameron? Uh, really hungry. Turn off that heat. Okay. There we go. Pretty uh, enough to start like you can eat it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Very good. All right. We're almost at 50 subscribers. Make sure you do that so you can see us make cream roulette. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I post a video. Bye guys! Bye!